adventure. Oh. Mm. On our way out here a couple days ago, we stopped at a rock hounding site to find sunstone. I love rock hounding. Utah has so many great rock hounding sites. We found some really pretty pieces just glistening in the sun. Uh, ooh, that is uncomfortable. This is a uh, pretty classic Utah desert. <laughs> We're finding, I believe it's called sunstone, but it's a crystal. It is really pretty. It's this kind of pale yellow crystal. And there's a lot of these little pieces around. I'm kind of starting to get the hang of it, where if I look, the sun's kind of over there and then I get real low and I can see them glistening on the ground and then I try to go find them. But there, there are a lot of little pieces like, yeah, see? Here's another little tiny one, but it's just really fun. I love rock hounding. I'm not gonna keep all this, but I'm looking for one, maybe one piece that I think would be a nice necklace that I can make, like something like this one, I think would kind of be nice. It's hot <laughs> and it's October, but it's still pretty hot out here in the desert. <laughs> this is the biggest piece we found. Look how pretty that is. Morning. I just made these epic breakfast burritos. We have some homemade venison sausage in here, eggs, cheese, sour cream, cilantro. Dang. Mm -mm. We are getting ready to go on a nice little hike. So we're doing about eight and a half miles up to a peak. I think it should be really pretty. Not too hot. Let's roll. Beautiful here. Hey, look at that plane. I just ate a flavor fusion fruit strip. I wish I had more. Well, let's keep moving. Challenge is yet to come. Adventure. Woo! We are getting close and we just got 
an incredible view. We've kind of been down in that canyon for most of this hike, so it's kind of nice to be up here now. Oh, let's get up to that saddle. I think we're close. My watch says we're at 9,300. I think that's a little bit off, but it's pretty high. Woo! <laughs> Woo! We made it! Wow. What an epic hike. This spot is calling. <laughs> All right, let's go. That last little push was that was tough. Not easy. Man. We're at 9,600. I'm going to have some snacks. So I brought this Aloha protein bar. It's funny because I loved these years ago. Like I ate them a lot and then I just somehow like completely forgot about them. I haven't had them and now they're back in my life. So I'm gonna have that, maybe a Lara bar. So that took us like what, less than three hours to get up here. It's always wild. Like you hear the planes, but where is it? Probably low. It's one of, that's like, that's a jet. Yeah, do you see it? My God, there is a military base around here. So it's not like surprising, but it's just crazy to see that that close. <laughs> Man, it was so fun to fly that. My trekking poles have saved me yet again from at least two falls on the way down. <laughs> Coming through, got Meatloaf to make, food to eat, stretching to do. Yeah. One pull. Two. Three. Hey, get off there, fly. Making <laughs> some pumpkin spice bread. So basically this afternoon at camp, I am just doing one of my favorite things ever and it's just relaxing, testing some new Dutch oven recipes, cooking and just being outside. So yeah, like I said, I am testing these things. These are not like locked in recipes yet, but I'm doing a pumpkin spice bread with a cream cheese frosting because it's fall and that sounds amazing. And then I'm also doing some meatloaf and mashed potatoes, which I figured after a good solid day hike like we had, like that was gonna be a really good hearty meal and we're both really looking forward to it. So 
that's kind of what we got going on <laughs> this afternoon at camp. I really enjoy developing recipes and cooking with my Dutch oven. And so I'm hoping this stuff is gonna turn out good. Gonna do dessert first. So this can cool and then I'll do the meatloaf. And this is my mix that I made at home. Uh, actually, I was just talking and I was distracted. I don't really wanna add that to the bowl yet. Dang it. It'll be all right. So for this, I have my dry mix and then I have some pumpkin puree, eggs, and over here, it's pretty hot, but ow! One moment. Some melted butter. Oh my God, I just spilled butter everywhere. The wind took it, you know? Baking, I feel like you really do need to kind of be a little bit more precise, but cooking is sometimes nice because you can just kind of do what feels right. Meatloaf time. I am constructing a little boat, aluminum foil boat that I'm gonna put into the Dutch oven. Never done this before, this is uncharted territory. Just trying some new things out. I think it's gonna work fine. I think it'd be easier just to lift it in and out of the Dutch oven this way. I did go to engineering school, and I have to say, I think that plays a crucial role in my ability to make a little boat. What do you think? <laughs> Let's make sure it fits in the Dutch oven. And then all of the juices will stay quality design right here. I think that'll do. Take a look at this. It is cooling down fast now that the sun is down. My meatloaf is still cooking, but I'm gonna frost my little pumpkin cake right now. It looks so good, it smells so good, all vibes cream cheese frosting. There are a lot of flies here, so I'm kind of, it's gonna be tough. Keep them off my cake. Woo! I'm so pumped for this. Some of the healthy layer of frosting. It's nice and thick. I love cream cheese frosting. I think that's why I love carrot cake so much. Nick does not like carrot cake, but I am determined to change his mind on that one actually. I need to I need to do that next. I need to work on a, a Dutch oven carrot cake, but I, I do love it. I think mostly because of the cream cheese frosting. Pretty impressed with myself right now. <laughs> I do feel a lot of satisfaction when I bake and I cook. <laughs> Just for fun, I'm gonna decorate it with some pecans because so there are, oh gosh, I cannot open these. There are pecans in here, so it's like a pumpkin spice pecan bread. So I thought I would just kind of, you know, layer these around. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm pretty pumped on this. Like, how beautiful is that? Smells 
so good. I'm really happy with the way the meatloaf turned out with the little boat and everything. Let's try it. Oh my gosh, incredible. Mm -hmm. After a big hike day, this is my kind of meal. <laughs> we still have the dessert to slice, so my cameraman is hungry. Now, the moment I have been waiting for. I'm gonna dive into this pumpkin pecan cake. Yes, look at that. Ooh. This has been quite an epic day. I am tired. It is 7.30, so I think we're gonna eat dessert, clean things up, hit the tent. That's gonna be it for this little trip. We're gonna pack up camp and then head home today. Just a nice little two night break from the city and enjoying the quiet and the sunshine. But I got some work to do, gotta get to editing. <laughs> I do have a Dutch oven cooking course. It's an online course, video based, and I am so proud of it. It's really a lot of fun. So if you wanna dive into Dutch oven cooking, get a ton of my recipes and just video training for me, check the description below for some info on that. And with that, I gotta help Nick pack things up and uh, head back to the city. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>